Andre, you should see the number of hand and footholds back here. I've got one on my right hand in this crazy like roller coaster bar, one on the left of my door. I have two footholds so I can just do this face while you're driving. Now <laughs> On this episode of TFL Off-Road, we have a brand new 2021 Can-Am Maverick X3. Actually, Andre, that is the 2021 Can-Am Maverick X3 Max X RS Turbo R R. And in this video, we are going over the really cool features inside and out. No, seriously, that's the full name of this side-by-side, -side. and it's so long because this machine is really special. This is a Top Dog 4-seater, 72-inch wide side-by-side -side with insane power. Andre, tell them what powers this Can-Am. You might have been expecting a twin-cylinder engine, but this is not it. This is a triple. It's a Rotax engine, three-cylinder, it's turbocharged. That's where the turbo name comes in. And the RR stands for the maximum power. 195 horsepower, and of course the transmission is a CVT, continuously variable transmission. But Andre, they do make lower powered models, so you can get it with 120 or 170 horsepower, but we've got the top dog. Now to enter into the Can-Am, there is no traditional door handle on the outside. Instead, you reach over and grab this red flap, just like a fighter jet. But you pull the flap open, and it actually has suicide doors, which means they open opposite to what you'd expect in a traditional car. Now, this is my first time getting into the Can-Am. Whoa. These are some heavily bolstered seats. I feel like I just stepped into a trophy truck. You really do feel special in this machine. Now, let me show you the key, because it's uh, very different than what you'd expect. It's this crazy sci-fi looking thing. You'd expect to see this on the Enterprise, not in the Can-Am, but here's how it works. It's got this little kind of clamp mechanism and that you insert onto this little ball, just like this. Now that reads the key code. The Can-Am comes with two keys, just like a Hellcat. Now the Hellcat has a 500 horsepower key and a 700 horsepower key. The Can-Am has a green key and the performance key. Now the performance key allows you to go above 43 miles an hour and gives you a little bit more torque. So that's how that works. Here's one interesting thing. In order to fill up this beast, it's actually on the passenger side in the front, not in the rear, as you might expect. Right here, uh, 91 octane is the minimum, and that's what we filled it up with because that's the highest octane rating we have here in Colorado. We're ready to go. The front end of this Maverick is just engulfed in air intakes. You can definitely see how much air is required to keep this machine cool, but there's just fins and vents and scoops everywhere on the front of this vehicle. Now the actual overall profile is very swept back. A lot of the older Polarises were very upright. Can-Am kind of rewrote the rule book when it came out with the X3 and made everything really swept back and smooth. It almost looks like a praying mantis. Side-by-sides are all about suspension and tires, so let's talk about the shocks. These are monstrous. Uh, coilovers in the back, and these are 3.0 Fox remote reservoir. Very, very fancy. And check this out. Here's the remote reservoir and the line that connects it to the shock. It's almost one inch thick. This is what allows up to 22 inches of wheel travel. And well, we'll be testing it thoroughly on the off-road trails here in Colorado. We'll see exactly how it performs. There are a ton of different tires in the Maverick lineup, both in terms of design and sizes. This one is rolling on Maxxis Bighorn 2.0 30-inch tires. It's also rolling on 14-inch aluminum beadlock wheels. Now, I mentioned that this one is the RS trim, and there are a ton of different trims depending on the terrain you're gonna be driving on. Now, this RS is designed for desert and dune running, but there's also the DS, the RC, the MR, and the XC, and they all have different abbreviations, and they're all tailored for different types of terrain. Tommy, strapping into this bad boy, it's like going on a roller coaster ride. There are four-point seat belts. Um, it's really, I mean, 
the seats are hug you, they move back and forth, right? Well, the cool thing is, is the seats are just as good in the rear. So actually the rear seats move back and forth too. And the best part about these harnesses, look at this, they're on retract. So you're not always fighting with adjustment straps. But Andre, you should see the number of hand and footholds back here. I've got one on my right hand in this crazy like roller coaster bar, one on the left of my door. I have two footholds so I can just do this face while you're driving. Now, <laughs> but look, I also have a handle right here. Four wheel drive switch. You have two wheel drive, you have four wheel drive, and then you have a manually selectable front diff lock. But there's also different drive modes ranging from trail to trail active. And this will also control when the front diff lock actuates automatically. Beyond that, I've got this little selector here. I've got various different modes from sport to eco. I also have a power steering adjustment so I can change the amount of power steering, um, trip computer. And that all shows up here in the center cluster, which is a 7.6 inch screen. There's also an override switch here in the dash and you push and hold the override switch and that allows you full power in reverse. Now if you're really stuck or bogged down, you can uh, back out of some sticky situations or you can just go backwards really quickly. On this machine right here, we have this, a windshield, which is very useful, especially in colder climates and keeping some of the dust out of your face. But they also have many other accessories. I'm talking about roof racks, stereo systems, side mirrors, tire carriers, etc. It's limitless. Hey Andre, is there a portable toilet as an accessory? Because this one clearly says no poop in here. So what's the deal with that? But in all seriousness, you do have a small tray here for cargo. And look at this, this is your air intake, which is right behind the rear passenger's head. So whoever sits here is gonna be um, basically sitting on the intake of a jet in terms of sound. One of my favorite design aspects on the Maverick X3 is the exhaust, and it's the easiest way to differentiate this Can-Am from the rear. It's a center-mounted exhaust. I love the shape of it. It's really well designed. I also love that it's a center outlet. The actual muffler is hidden behind this cladding. And surprisingly, it's got a nice quiet tone. Andre, start it up. You just expect that to be like a little jet. And just before you're about to embark on your adventure to get comfortable, the steering wheel is adjustable and the digital display, the gauges come with it. It's pretty cool. And here in the front of the passenger, there's a pretty large glove box compartment and it's got a toolkit right there. The suspension in the Can-Am is adjustable and they do provide the tool you need to start messing around with it. You can also adjust the high and low speed compression up top. The Can-Am you see behind me starts at about $30,000 and it competes with vehicles like the Polaris Pro XP. And if you're wondering about colors, there are a number of options. This one is triple black, as we would say in the car community. It would be like a midnight edition in the truck community, but Can-Am just says black with more black. So what we have here, Tommy, is the most powerful factory side-by-side -side of them all. Yeah, it's got a lot of letters and numbers in its name, but the question is, Andre, can it do a donut? Well, let's find out. Well, we know it does a donut, but Andre, the big question is how does this new Can-Am perform off-road when we get it out in the Colorado Rockies? That's coming up soon, right? Yeah, those videos are going to be on TFL Truck, so stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Check out tfloffroad.com for the latest and greatest in new side-by-side -side reviews.